Hey everyone, welcome to Old Man Gaming. Remember, if you enjoyed today's stream, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Hey, good morning everybody, welcome back to Old Man Gaming, and my name is Rob, and this is Ark Survival Ascended, my, what I call my 30 series, where we spend 30 minutes a day just playing on an Ark PvP official server, uh, asking the question realistically, just how far can one get? on a PvP server if they restrict their gameplay to only 30 minutes a day and uh yeah short answer is at the moment it takes a long time to get anywhere <laughs> uh we have I'm not gonna lie we have struggled quite a bit So uh, just move in. I think you need to seriously start looking at building a base somewhere. Preferably not near what I think is a carnivore over there. What that sounds like. Wow, that was... Alright, my little shack is still here. Amazingly. Right. And we have some that again. Let me uh, take these out because if there's nothing in there, I don't want to be wasting spark powder. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to head over here to this forested area over here. And I'm going to see if I can find a nice little flat area at all if possible chilling with the boys two days But yeah, I want to come into here. Uh, if I can find a nice little flat area. So turned around then, I don't know where I killed that last one. Okay, okay. Alright, this looks promising.
Okay, this looks... This looks promising here, actually. go. Let the body go. Of the thing I just killed. So we'll start with wood. going on with the textures. <clears throat> Here we go again. Me losing exactly where I decided to build. Oh, I'm hopeless at this. Honestly, I am the worst person at retaining directions. I should have looked at the map where I just where I was building. This is ridiculous. How have I lost it already? Oh, 
hell have I lost? Wait, all right, there's a turtle. Was it near the turtle? Honestly. I am the worst. The absolute worst. <laughs> How have I lost it? I mean, God. I am terrible. I I am absolutely. It wasn't anywhere. I think. I'm... That didn't look friendly. What is that? I am the f I'm unbelievable. Honestly, I am. I'm gonna have to. How do I get lost in such a short, in such a small space? Just head back up to my little shack up here. It's like somebody sent sent out a message saying, "Hey, look, come come over here." <laughs> some some idiot around here. Oh. Oh. 
Can I food on? Did he bite me? Fuck off! Oh. Fuck, I'm probably gonna pass out. Knew it. Why is it going crazy around here all of a sudden? Oh boy. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -dum I can't believe I lost. little flat area. I was like, oh, this looks promising. Oh, that's a ferrozinosaur. Now that I look at it. it wasn't down there. Alright, there's that. Uh, somewhere. Or is it going to be right next, there they are, right next to a Ferrazinosaur that for some reason has shown up in exactly the same spot that I was working. get coordinates on the map 38.789.2 so we should be heading Take ages.
I'm trying to cut trees down away from where I'm actually building the base because, you know, if there's anybody about soon, I don't want them to see where I am. At the same time, I keep getting lost, so... Found primarily among the island's redwood regions, Octodus dyrus is an imposing creature. Many on the island have started calling it a dire bear, a name which is appropriate both due to its enormity and its territorial nature. The dire bear oh, ignores great. most non-hostile creatures. I'll put myself right next to an explorer and I, aren't I brilliant? Meat and edible plant life. Oh. That is... That's great. Until intruders enter the territory, it considers its own, at which point the creature ferociously attacks. Most often, it is smartest to just run from an angry dire bear. <laughs> Once tamed, the dire bear uh, is a oh strong no. and reliable mount. It can carry vast quantities of goods and can sprint for extremely long, nearly infinite periods. It is not the fastest creature from a hard stop, but after building up momentum, its sustained overland speed builds to among the best of the island. Of course, being able to feed a dire bear both meat and plant life makes keeping one fairly convenient regardless of the environment. Arctodus has a fondness for honey and can harvest it without getting stung or destroying the hive. Perhaps more rewarding while you are riding it, those pesky bees will completely ignore you.
that's just great. <clears throat> I'm so happy I decided to build right next to a note. Oh, God. So if any note hunters come, could be screwed. all I'm going to get done today on the there make sure I'm heading the right direction hopefully it'll still be there tomorrow and we'll try and get some walls up now oh no it's not what I need that was not what I needed hiding spot that was an interesting episode I must admit that getting attacks left right and centre like that Whew. getting lost Okay, and here we are, back in our little usual hideaway in the bushes. Just like the old Fortnite days. Ah, Just... Just make sure, can't be seen. Alright. Alright, well, so thank you for watching. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow the next episode and see if we can get that base up and running i can't believe i did it right next to an explorer note so certainly won't be keeping anything valuable in the base let's put it that way uh but thank you for watching until next time everyone stay safe and bye for now bye bye please like and subscribe <laughs>